Who? What up, game of the squad? It's your boy, are you theory? It's the realest, the coolest, the trillest young king on your platform as we speak. Welcome back to the banger gang. So we got my dog Jamari back in the building, man. And uh, he's talking about uh delusional streamer. Now I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know the guy, but I love watching his uh videos um because they're, they they be funny like you know and he always be on time with it so um we're gonna go ahead and react to it if y'all want me to start reacting to penguins or uh what's his name miss misty i can't remember his name but the dude with the long hair his name is penguin zero on youtube if you want me to react to him comment down below and let me know because i watch him a lot i just don't know if i should react to him if y'all want me to react to him comment right now and let me know but let's go ahead and um check out this one let's see what he's talking about man bye so there was this streamer out there named Hassan. I'm sure many of you know who he is. I don't. Some of you probably like him. Others might <laughs> hate him. Like many political figures online, he is polarizing. You see, Hassan has been around this internet game Dang. for quite some time. And over the years, he has become increasingly more progressive with his views. And at this point, I would describe him as basically alt-left. Like even Ethan Klein, who has become very much a leftist, couldn't deal with his nonsense. Actually, you know what? Go listen to his song. People say, I need to go listen to his song. This is bullshit. Please, go listen to his song. And over the past couple mm. of days, Hassan has now been going viral on Twitter. After he made the take that streaming is harder than any other job, at least from a social battery draining standpoint. Yes, battery draining? a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the what? same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Now, just off the bat. Hmm. But what if you're working, like, picking cotton or something, like, or, or in construction? Even over that any day. Now, yes, it is very hard trying to keep your people entertained for nine plus hours, whatever. But you're still sitting down in the comfort of your own home. You got your food right there. You can eat whenever you want. You got your drink. You can drink whenever you want. You can go use the restroom whenever you want. And you're getting paid guap, bro. Guap. You're not getting paid twenty dollars an hour. You they people. You know what I'm saying? You're making money. So it's not the same, bro. And I hate that he's even comparing it because that's crazy. Bad. I find his take to be not only very privileged, yes. but also just not based in reality. Fat and with this no, being Hassan no. and so many people disliking him, anytime he gives people this type of ammo with just a stupid take, it's essentially like that scene from SpongeBob where it's like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Beat the old you know, man. everyone gets their turn with the beating stick. And they're essentially just passing this guy around, completely trashing him. Now, in response to that clip going viral, this is what Hassan had to say. It is wild how this completely out of context clip made its way to Twitter so fast. I was talking about how much a nine hour stream eats away at my social battery and how I can't socialize after. Comparing it to my sales job before, I recognize how fortunate I am every day. And he also posted this longer clip that I guess is supposed to provide some sort of context. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm, like, I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A <clears throat> real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. Okay. I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both, like... Nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't do more social shit. That's my point. I mean, to me, what? the context here makes him look even more <laughs> out of touch. I don't, like, I don't obviously, get it. every single job is going to have its pros and cons. Like, for me, my job can be kind of the opposite. My job can be very socially isolating. Sometimes I can go all day without really talking to anyone. You gotta spend a lot of time on the computer. But I also understand that that's pretty much the way it goes for any job where you have to work at home. And I'm also not going to sit here and say, oh, my job is so much harder than someone else's because it is socially isolating. And also, let's be honest, you're not performing for nine hours, dude. I mean, most <laughs> of this guy's job is just watching YouTube videos and giving his political take. Damn. Like half the time, I'm pretty sure this guy isn't even in the room. OK, the video is just <laughs> playing and he goes off to do whatever the fuck he wants. What did I say? Didn't I say that earlier? You could sit, literally get up and go use the restroom, move around, jumping jacks, whatever. How many people could do that on assembly line, though? <laughs> 
there are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons service sector people pleasing jobs would be very similar those are like i think customer service type shit but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it you know i would love to see hassan try and do door-to-door -door sales or maybe some sort of cold calling and see how For fast sure. that type of job would suck the soul out of him pause <laughs> i mean at the end of the day dude you are a millionaire sitting in a mansion reacting to youtube videos farming millions of dollars from your audience and obviously with this being Hassan, well, people began to make the uh, typical arguments that they're going to say against him because he does present himself as a socialist online. They say Hassan Piker taking a private jet to Coachella because he's a principled anti-capitalist. <laughs> and that's always kind of been a talking point against this guy because he does live in a mansion. He drives several fancy cars. Really? He's out here apparently taking private flights. And what they're essentially saying is, yeah, dude, you hate on capitalism all the time. You act like you're some big socialist. But then in your free time, you choose to indulge in capitalism as much as you can. My mm. guy Mudahar comes in with his take where he says, Jealous. Streaming is by far the easiest, most privileged jobs one can have. If you're successful, the rewards far outweigh any of the negatives. Facts. Facts. Compared ah, to any service job, cybersecurity or nursing, you'll find something actually exhausting. And now this guy comes in with his take about Mudahar's take where he says, Fuck it, I'm doing bad faith arguments. Give a nurse or a cybersecurity expert a camera and tell them to talk about politics in front of 20,000 people for nine hours a day, every day for a year, and see how long they can go before they quit from harassment or lose viewership because they suck. You'll see a lot of comments on Twitter what? trying to defend Hassan in this way. And to me, it's just such a stupid argument because they don't take account that he's making millions of dollars to do so. Like, this is almost the equivalent of me telling a school teacher who's complaining about their salary yeah, well, you go play shortstop for the New York Yankees. You go play power forward for the Lakers. Let's see how you fucking like it. Like, at the end of the day, doing streaming as a job when it comes to the pay versus the amount of effort you have to put in, especially for, like, these top-level streamers who have already made it and are getting, like, millions of dollars a month. And I would say it's a very fair assessment that they're all very privileged. I mean, I'm extremely privileged in my job. I'm not too out of touch where i can't recognize that like you want to talk Real. about mentally exhausting you want to talk about socially draining like i have friends who work out in the oil field i'm talking about 12 hour shifts on their feet i'm talking about missing birthdays missing holidays mm. working with a bunch of felons so if i were to <laughs> sit here and say Why like oh my job is end. so hard because it's socially isolating my job is so hard because i get tired of doing the same thing every day like if i were to say those things i would feel like a bitch because i know how hard some of my friends are working yeah i know people are. who are completely educated with years of work experience who cannot find a job right now and so with this situation hassan is going to take his moment to kind of lean into the bait where someone says what's harder than this and obviously this just looks like a disgustingly terrible grueling job to have no matter how much money you're making what to do it hell? and uh hassan That's says weird. sarcastically that twitch streaming is harder okay kind of just poking fun at all the quote-unquote haters out there <laughs> now another I mean, popular so streamer out there osmond gold stepped in to give his take on the situation imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight it's like after a while, you'd be like, I don't want to talk. Or the department manager just occasionally is just like, Hey, you suck! <laughs> Bald ass you fell off, huh? <laughs> we gotta remember this in your performance review. He talking shit. <laughs> you fat Oh, wow, wow. Stupid ass Bro! Oh my god, guys, can you believe Chill. that random people online type mean comments? Like, this guy is do, years man. into the internet game, and he's gonna really try and act like negative comments or mean people online bother him. Like, I get that it For is sure. a big part of Twitch to interact with your chat, but I feel like if you're gonna be a figure on the internet, pretty early on, you have to learn to not really give a fuck mm -hmm. about what anyone says, whether it's good or bad. Like, Word. people are gonna praise you when you're up, 
and try and take you out when you're, when down, you're down. But yep. you can't really give a fuck because that's kind of just the nature of the beast. It kind of just that. comes with the job. With the he territory. says that he gets yeah. exhausted socially because he's talking to people for nine hours a day. You really think that's... You really think that's not true? People aren't saying it's not true. No, I'm I think not people are just true. saying you don't really have the right to complain about it when the pros outweigh the cons so much. And the Obviously. pros in this situation being that he's a fucking millionaire sitting in his house all day, Look. still making millions of dollars Eating. for a very minimum amount of effort. I mean, you really Chilling. think it's not true? Chilling. That after you spend nine hours being investigated <laughs> by thousands of people empty with chair. every facial movement, Everything you say, <laughs> every word, Ooh. with people constantly trying to disagree with you and fight with you, that's not emotionally, or sorry, like socially draining. I mean, Osman, you can't even clean your room, dude. Oh. You are a multi-millionaire who refuses to hire a maid, and you just choose Whoa. to live in filth. You choose to have a pet cockroach. Oh, God. Like, I'm sorry, but anyone who chooses to live like this, especially who has the means not to, I can't really take anything they say seriously. Like, my grandmother yeah. always told me it cost nothing to be clean. Like, there is At no all. excuse to be a dirty motherfucker. <laughs> I just think when At some all. of these guys want to give, like, a real-world point of view, they end up coming off brain dead because they are so out of touch with reality when it comes to back, the actual man, jobs people have to work, great. the actual stresses of life. Especially right now with the current state of the economy, the housing market, compared to what people are getting in return at these jobs in form of payment. Like, most people are not going to want to hear this shit. They don't want to hear about your little, oh, woe is me story, while you're raking in millions. Fast. And they can't afford their rent. They can't afford to buy groceries. They can't afford to go out and do anything fun. I'm like, I know you, so many people my I'm age who are completely educated. They tried to do everything right, everything the way the system told them to do it. And now they just feel completely screwed. Like, they're still having to live with their parents and they're approaching 30 years old. They don't own a house, all they really have is debt to their name. Like, they don't want to hear your privileged ass hot takes from your nasty ass room. But I genuinely want to know what you guys think about this whole situation down below. <laughs> How do Hassan's comments make you feel? Do you think there's some merit in what he's saying? Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing, but... Alright, man, we gotta go check out homie's channel. Like I said, I, I, got, I react to him a lot, so, um... Go ahead and give that a like. Uh, like homie was trying to talk down necessarily. Like it really, it, it really does. Like bro, I could barely sit down and do a video for 30 minutes without wanting to like get up and move around. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like imagine, like you said, sitting there for nine hours. I know it's tough, but don't forget that it's tough doing these other jobs too. He's just talking about socially, not just on your body. He's talking about socially, like his jaws are tired, like his head is hurting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, when you get done with, you know, just like any job, after work, you want to go straight home. You know what I mean? But you got to go grocery shopping, hang out with your kids. It's no comparison. And then not only that, bro, you're doing it for nine hours, like he said, doing very minimum work, literally just sitting there, just like I, what I'm doing is reacting to videos, giving your thoughts. You know, you can still eat, sleep and shit. You can still go, uh, you can still, you know, get up and stretch and stuff like that. And you're getting paid millions, bro. Millions. Come on, man. There's there's no comparison. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Is he wrong? Or, like, well, can you see his point? Or do you be like, he ain't got no point? You know what I'm saying? Because y'all could people really can feel like he doesn't have a point. You know what I mean? But anyway, man, if you're new, subscribe. Like the video. Comment some more bangers y'all want me to check out. Until next time, your boy is out. Deuces. Yeah, you gonna say bye? Bye. <laughs> Good job, baby. All right, we gone.